ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video here i'm going to be showing you guys how to put atlanta united into a career mode the first thing you need to do is go into your customize page and then go to edit teams and then first thing you actually need to do is go down to the reset all squads button uh, the reason for that obviously is because a lot of the players in the game were taken out. I still don't know why. I'm a, I, I always assumed that it was because they were going to uh, bring them back into the game for the full squad and add them in at some point, but it's been a few weeks. I highly doubt they're going to do it anytime soon, so I'm really starting to wonder what the plan is there. So if you download all the updates, it doesn't actually work. So the next thing you want to do is, you know, you're looking through, you want to find your team that you want to put them on. This is the team in Turkey that I choose to put them on because I like their jerseys. You're going to go in and actually look for, um, as you see, I've already added a couple players in, but you're going to go through and move as many players off of the team as possible just so that you have the room to put the new players on. You have to leave 17 midfielders in the team and at least one goalkeeper. Um, once you do add the rest of the players in, you can obviously go back and then add in the new players, but um, or take out the old players rather. After that, you're actually going to press on the bottom of the screen, you'll see a button and it tells you to press Y to search for a player. You'll type in the name of the player. This time we typed in Carmona. Um, you look for the right player that you need and then you search and put them into the right team. So uh, you just have to keep doing that and I'm gonna speed up the video here as you guys are gonna see just throwing in all the players from the team. You do have to go through and actually look for every player. If you want a shorter list of what players are actually in the game versus what players are uh, on our team, you want to go to the, you know, a FIFA database or something like that, like a foothead or something, and look at what players are Atlanta United in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that gives you a good idea on what players you can actually put in. Um, and then you can go ahead and throw in those 18 to 19 players, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's actually in this video, but I do put Brad Guzon in it just because a career mode that I'm doing off camera, uh, I wanted to go ahead and put him in because I'm testing out the uh, the putting an MLS team in League One um, and the championship, just kind of deciding which one's going to be better for an actual series that I do here on the channel, whether it's in this FIFA or the next one, um, just kind of playing around with that. After that, you want to go into create a player and you want to do this because there's certain players that you're going to want in a team. The first and most arguably important one is going to be Kenwin Jones, obviously, a man who was in FIFA 16, but they did take out of 17 because he ended up going to play in another league that was not in the game. So they lost the rights to him, and uh, that kind of put him in a place where they had to uh, make a... You're going to have to go make the player. So I went through and went to FIFA 16, Kenwin Jones, um, and looked at his, I believe, Cardiff card, his uh, last card of FIFA 16, um, 72 rated, and basically just went through and made him here, put in all of his stats, put in his height, weight, um, number, stuff like that, commentary name, and then once you go through, I do a really cheap job at, you know, trying to create the way he looks. I just changed... Uh, his skin color and then changed his hair and then left all the other settings the same um, and then Under the stats you're literally just going to try to mimic the exact same stats from FIFA 16 Put them into FIFA 17. It'll give you a 71 72 rated Kenwin Jones, which is about right at least as of right now I believe that so that's what I did and then I actually go through and end up making the players for the rest of the team at least a decent amount. I put Vasquez in the team, Julian Gressel, Miles Robinson, um, who else am I forgetting that I put in, uh, Andrew Carlton, um, Tumbacus I put into the game as well. I think that's it. I might be forgetting one or two. You you guys may have seen them in the video or you'll see them in the video in the future. But those are the players, you know, that I just decided to throw into the game. Be wary, though, that when you create a player and depending on their age, it, it does auto-generate a, um, a potential rating for the player. So if you're making...
Andrew Carlton that, you know, as low as you can go is 18, even though he's 16. Um, it's going to make him a very high potential player in, in career mode, which is going to be fun. But at the same time, just be wary that you're going to have a really, really high potential player on your team. Um, you're going to have a youth star by creating the player based on their age. Obviously, Kenwin Jones, he's reached his potential with his age, so you don't have to worry about him. Um, and that's just kind of how you're going you're gonna to have to look at it. But you're going to see some of these stats I'm really excited about. Jones has and he's actually a really strong player when it comes to FIFA um, and whenever you have Kenwin in a team it's almost more beneficial to put Martinez on the left and then have Kenwin Jones down the middle now you can adjust your play style and have Martinez down the middle that's not what I'm saying but um, if you have Kenwin in the team and Martinez is there and you're not really all that keen on playing with Yamila Sa just go ahead and put Martinez on the left you know it is what it is so uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, going through step by step on how to get all the players into the team and then, you know, create a player as well. And then I'll show you guys what I do to actually get the players into career mode. I know I said I was going to have this video out last week, but because of some stuff going on in my personal life, it just didn't happen. Horizon Zero Dawn, so that really caused some problems too because I've just been grinding out that game trying to beat it. So, um,. Here now, you know, we're doing what we can. So now you're in the career mode screen. You picked whether you're doing a player or manager one. And then when you go to four, and at first all I'm doing is changing out the bottom three teams to the top three teams are the teams I think that are going to get promoted to the Premier League uh, and to the Premier League. But all you could do is go over to the team you're looking for, press Y to swap teams, look for the league that you're looking for, start swapping teams. So. Um, you're gonna see as it speeds up here in a second that um, I end up putting all the teams just moving them from League 1 to League 2 yada yada nothing too crazy and then I, I'll actually end up adding in all the MLS sides um, and then I just put the MLS sides into the championship you obviously could do this style to put them in or you could actually go to MLS and switch out let's say Chicago Fire for um, it, your Atlanta United squad wherever you may actually be using them from and then I also added Minnesota United into the game not a great team at all by their rating um, I think they actually managed to get a three-star rating for career mode which is surprising because of how weak that team is they don't have enough player players I think to actually make out a full squad to use in career mode so I ended up leaving a few players on the team from the one that I used. And I think I used um, Mure, FK, I believe is how you uh, pronounce the name of the league. It's a league, or a team in Norway, rather. Um, it's a team that Joseph, uh, Joshua Gat is actually originally from. One of their uh, wingers, their right mid, I believe, is his position. Uh, he, he was originally there, but... Their jerseys are pretty similar to the Minnesota ones in my opinion, so I went ahead and moved them over to that team uh, just so that you would have both teams. So the style of format for the league that I'm doing, if you guys are interested in it, is going to be moving um, for the player career mode that I'm doing. I moved League 1 to League 2, Championships to League 1, and then put in the Championship. Um, and then with the MLS teams, it was going to be the MLS, uh, two teams from Mexico, and I guess that's it, 22 teams, 24 teams. Yeah, so I took the two teams that are left in the CONCACAF Champions League, which is Tigre and uh, Omar Gonzalez's team, which I cannot remember for the life of me right now, but I put those two teams in with them. The only difference I did for a manager career mode that I'm kind of trying to do, but I also wanted to switch it up, is that... Uh, I put them in League 1 and then actually just left League 2 the way it was and just took all the League 1 teams and moved them out and then left Championship alone. Uh, so it was just kind of deciding whether or not I wanted to leave kind of a worse league below me or have all the teams move down and then move the worst team out to the MLS. So one thing I did notice though is whenever I moved all the teams out, and then moved all of the championship league sides or the league two level sides rather 
um, put them over into America. It actually ended up changing the league table whenever I started the career mode. When I w looked back at it, it was a regular league table and it wasn't actually the MLS table anymore. So just an interesting little thing that I noticed. If you guys want to try to change the US uh, style, um, you may actually just be able to move all the teams out and then move them back in and it may use it as a regular league table of 20 teams instead of the 24 that, you know, obviously, or the 20, um, how many teams? 20, oh yeah, 20. Um, the 20 league side team instead of the format of uh, the MLS currently, which is two leagues, obviously, and a playoff system that is just painful to do in career mode. So um, anything else that I really wanted to talk about, like I said, you guys are going to see here in Norway that I go ahead and um, add in Mode. I don't know why it kind of froze right here. I'm assuming I was trying to figure out which team I actually put them on. But like I said, I just moved everybody to the championship. This is the same thing, regardless of whatever situation you're trying to do. You just pick the league you're looking for. You look for the league that you're trying to put them in. Um, and then here you're going to see the two teams in Mexico that I did put into the league as well. If you guys are interested in that series, I can definitely up. I already started the series, so I don't have everything recorded, but I can pick it up from where I'm at. Or, uh, you know, maybe pick it up next season so that I actually in the career modes um, but uh, obviously this was the series that I was gonna do once Atlanta United was actually added into the game cuz looking at the logo of another team trying to play with the uh, team that I'm doing it with and then if you want to actually look at what else I do for career mode I go to Sanderson Park because it's arguably I guess the closest one that you're gonna find for uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, I guess. It's not really all that close. There's an Olympic Stadium in the game that maybe looks a little bit better, but it has a track, so it looks awkward, and it's obviously, so it's kind of weird. Um, other than that, I just switched out a couple teams for the Champions Cup, really just putting Chelsea in for Leicester, obviously top four. Uh, left Arsenal in there just because I'm being nice. Uh, other than that, you're just going to go ahead and decide whether or not you want to leave the transfer window on. I decided to leave it um, out and uh, just get rid of it. And then because I'm doing a player career mode, I went ahead and went through and created my player that started off with a 67 rating, I believe. Um, as this episode does come to a close, I did want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any other things you want me to do. If you want me to show you what uh, I did to make the Minnesota lineup, I can do that. Again, I don't really know if that's going to be all that interesting because you guys just watched this video. I did the same thing, just went to the FIFA database, looked up the players that were in the actual game for Minnesota, and then left in a few of like the worst players on the team that was I that I moved them over to, just so that you know, I didn't give them anybody too good and actually managed to keep their rating down to what I think it honestly deserves. Um, a side note, though, again, as this episode does come to a close, I actually ended up moving a lot of the players around after I reset the squads to kind of make it a little bit more realistic. I fixed the MLS lineups and then also fixed the um, like the big transfers from January. That, that was a lot of work. I wouldn't expect you guys to actually do that, but if you do want to do it, go ahead. Same style, just search for the player and do it that way. Um, if you guys did enjoy, again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I will see you guys later.